Hi, what's up? So this is what you call your light up sliders. Now, I know I get a lot of questions I've seen on the internet as well. They go, oh, these things, they look like they, they are crack or they break if you ever fall. That's why I'm showing you this video here. Now, as you can see, I actually took a fall. It's not plastic, it's like a hard acrylic. And as you can see on the angle here, you see that? When I fell, you know, I actually had a blackout. I know how crazy that may sound, but I had a blackout on my bike because I fell once and I got back up and tried to drive, which was silly. And I fell, and as you can see, it don't crack in half, but it, it, it grinds down just like the rubber ones does. And uh, this other one here, it didn't crack. <clears throat> I, you know, like I said, I had a blackout on the bike, so I don't even know which way I fell. But, uh. It, you know, broke up a little bit. I cut the wires because I use it for something else. But as I said, you could clearly see that it grinds down and it does protect your flanges. I mean, your uh, your fit, your fairings on your bike. <clears throat> now to move on to the next thing is, you know, I got to always had a second pair of sliders. I like the light up ones. I, I like them, you know, the, the, the solid rubber ones, black and all that. Those are nice too, but I like these solid ones. So, what we did here, you know, you got your black wire, your white wire, and your red wire. As we all know, your black is your hot, your white is your neutral. But then you say, well, what is the red? Believe it or not, the red is a hot wire as well. So it's a real simple fix. You just slice these right into your signals. Now, you can slice it right to your battery. I've done that before, but I don't recommend it. It's going to stay hot the whole time. So you slice them into your uh, signals. Right there, as you can see, here's my signals. So you slice them right into your signals. That way, they can run solid. And when you use your blinkers, they can blink as well if you have them set up that way. Because they do work that way, which is great. Uh, actually, that's the whole point of that red wire. That red wire, it, it's, just no, it's no different than when you have, let's say, like a ceiling fan or something like that. You know, you, you may have, uh, you got your black wire, your white wire, and you may have a blue wire or a green wire. That's the wire, just like here, that gives you different options other than just on and off. So like with your ceiling fan, you may have a dimmer. You may have different speeds on the fan, high, low, fast, whatever the case. So whenever you have that other color wire other than black and white, that's what that's for. And in this case, it gives you the option to have your sliders to blink just like your, your blinker here. And that's what that wire does. That red wire. So that's why you just slice right into them. Like I said, if you happen to, if you did decide to slice and go connect it right to your battery, then your sliders will just be solid all the time. Like I said, I have done that before when I first started doing this stuff. And like I said, another reason I thought to do this video because I've yet to see a video on the internet uh, connecting uh, light up sliders. So here you go, family. Peace. All right, folks. So this is a finished job. Uh, Installing the light up sliders, as you can see, right there, they light up. Now, as you can see on the previous video, well, earlier in the video, I showed you how uh, they do not crack. And I'm getting that a lot. People are saying, oh, man, they crack, blah, blah, blah. But uh, I'm going to show you what they look like when you cut them on. Here we go. Let me put this phone down just for a quick second. Quick second. But yeah, like I showed previous in the video, see, that's what happens. If, if you happen to fall with these, it grinds down. It does not shatter and crack. Uh, that's how that happens. So um, I think the reason my other connection is not connecting, because these are my actual original ones where I, I forgot what happened, why I stopped using them, but I never threw them away. And when 
and those got damaged. Like I said, uh, go back to one of my, two of my other videos. One video is called a blackout. I actually had a blackout on my bike, and that's how these got damaged so bad and got grinded down. And that's a scary thing uh, for anyone out there to have a damn blackout on the bike. Uh, just watch that video and you understand why I had a blackout. Because the previous video before that one was called Motorcycle Injuries. So want to thrill yourself or educate yourself or just give yourself a type of awareness. Uh, it's called Motorcycle Injuries. And the other one's called Blackout. I'll give you a little educational stuff on that one as well. Because it's a scary thing to have a daggone blackout on the bike. I'm kind of even being cautious before I hit the highway to go back on a, the really run the bike like I used to, you know, I had a real bad concussion. But, you know, ultimately, stick to the original point. This was about the sliders. They do not crack and shatter. And the installation is rather simple. You know, you slice them right into your turn signals. These things can blink just like your turn signals as well. Uh, like I said, the other one wasn't on on the left side because I had a little problem with the uh, wiring on that side. So I'll figure that out eventually. But for those that need to see this video, now you got one. Peace.